Today, I will be showing you how to use the Snap to Grid functions in Incarnate. Incarnate just released a nine point Snap to Grid system. The nine points include the cross sections of the grid, the midpoints of a grid line, and the center of the grid square. To access Snap to Grid, check the box on the bottom panel of your screen that reads Snap to Grid. This box appears in the same place when using the shape options of the mask tool, the shape options of the brush tool, as well as the stamp, text, line, and shape tools. It can be easily toggled on and off so you can use it only when you want it. After clicking on Snap to Grid, you'll be able to snap assets to these nine points aligning to the center point on the asset. You can even snap items to grid after they've been placed. This is especially helpful for aligning stamps with each other, such as these columns. As you can see, we have six columns placed, but they are not evenly aligned. I can turn on my Snap to Grid and easily move each column into place, aligning them to the center of the grid squares. This means they are all easily aligned across from each other, as well as evenly distanced. Be sure to check the description to find out where you can get this map for free. And we'd love for you to comment with your tips and tricks using the Snap to Grid feature. For more tips and tricks, time lapses, and announcements for new map releases, please like and subscribe.